Hey guys, today we are going to pot up our pepper plants. They're all in these small solo cups and they're ready to get into a bigger pot. Uh, it's still a little too cold to put it outside. So we're going to plant one or two in these big five gallon buckets and let them grow the whole season in the bucket to see how. We got this stuff here, which is the premium organic mix and it's compressed so it looks small, but actually it opens up and it can fill at least three five gallon buckets with this. And then this stuff here, you mix in a little bit of this as well. Same thing, this will go a long way, but it's light and fluffy, it has the compost material and it, it retains moisture. And then I just found these five gallon buckets at Walmart. They were only $2.96 a piece. So overall, it's not too expensive for the whole kit. So what we do, what you first have to do is get your five gallon bucket and then you have to drill holes in the bottom. On pepper plants, they need a lot of drainage. If they don't drain enough, then they'll get uh, root rot. So those roots go really deep. And if, they, if it's not, you know, if the bottom half is really moist, then it won't happen. So we're just gonna drill probably eight, at least eight holes. And I'm using a half inch bit, so they're not small holes. Hey, one ring. Just go straight up. Good job. So we got the bottom, uh, the holes in the bottom. I learned this hack too. You use. Uh, these plastic bottles to line in the bottom and they actually um, make it so that you don't have to put as much dirt and it helps with the drainage too but they have to be the specific kind not the, the cheap kind look on the bottom and it will say number one type of recycle so um, only the number one type they're the ones that don't break down or so anyways you just throw a few at the bottom like twist them up a little Actually, they're so hard you can't, but Bella, chew this one. Here, Bella, why don't you chew this one too? Chew it up for you. <laughs> there she goes. She'll, she'll chew them up and then put them in the bottom. Yeah, you just throw a couple at the bottom there. And that way, it, like I said, when the dirt comes around, it helps it to drain better. Then clap three times. Then put it all together. In this bucket, we're going to do a sweet pepper. So uh, this is the one that's been growing in like here. Like a bell pepper? It's sweet pepper. So no, it's not, it's not bell. They're like a thinner pepper. Um, what you do, these are the first leaves that come out. They're not the real leaves. They're not the true leaves. This is what just gets the, the plant to sprout out. So you take those off, just get rid of them. And we're then we're going to add on the bottom, we're gonna put the garden soil mix. Crunchy. We're just gonna pour this in. Because it's such a big bucket, you don't have to scoop it out little by little and kind of start it off. So you mix it up a little, make sure it's good. Oh, mixing is so fun. It's kind of dark out here. It's getting dark, so it's harder to see, unfortunately. But um, it's good loose dirt. You don't want like a solid- Clump of dirt. Yeah, you want it nice and loose. So this dirt is actually shaped like a rectangle. It's very compressed. It's a rectangular yeah. prism. It's just compressed dirt, but once it goes in, it's actually really light and fluffy. And that's what your pepper plants want. They want to be light and fluffy so they can, their roots can just expand and go. Mm, wow, that's nice. It's so fluffy and organic. <laughs> it feels so disgusting. Before you take out the, uh, the thing, you just want to water it down a little because that way, it helps it slip out of the cup better. Slippity slip slop. <laughs> and then you just turn it upside down. Don't ever pull on the stem itself. Are we working at dairy? And this now? is gonna show you that these are ready to be planted. If you can see all those roots in there, 
Look at that. So when they're ready to go like that, you kind of just massage them, loosen them up a little so that they can go find their new home instead of being just wrapped around this like they are. And then you push it down in there. And then you cover the rest of the dirt. Yep, there. and you can go a little deeper so that you cover the stem a little bit higher than where you pulled off those other leaves. You're just putting this, uh, the rest of this in over the top and you just warm. keep it going. This stuff is compressed, I tell you. It's looking good, guys. Clump. These clumps are so not that good. You want to fill it all the way up past, you know, as close to those top, the bottom leaves as we can. So, and remember, Kinley, when you, uh, yeah, break it up with your hands. Good job. Really light and fluffy once you break it up. Yeah. Oh, it feels so nice. Yeah, this pepper plant's gonna love this new environment. Yeah. It's gonna be so happy. <laughs> it feels like a, a cloud, even though it's never felt like a cloud. <laughs> it's as soft as a cloud. Yeah, it's like cotton candy. Like no, it feels like a sheep's wool that's been brushed. A sheep's wool that's been brushed. Yeah, because sheep's wool is really like greasy and gross. Hey, looks like the pepper plant is almost okay, done. So check that out. We got it all the way up to here. And you don't go to the very top. And the reason for that is you want to put like a a mulch type stuff over the top to retain the moisture and keep it from burning. So you could use straw or any kind of natural organic stuff. You don't wanna put like the, the dyed mulch that you put on your uh, landscape because that will leach into it. But just like a natural and like a straw or something, you can go a good two inches thick. We got these bamboo sticks. It comes in a 12 pack. And you definitely you want to add that in there because as this grows up, it's gonna want something to support it. The plant smells good. So sweet pepper plant in a five gallon bucket. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna put some of these outside in the actual garden. But this one, it can stay in here the whole time and and we'll get the, the vegetables off of it. Now this one we already did, it's in a three gallon bucket. This is a five and we did a bell pepper in the three. Um, like I said, I don't think it can go the whole season like this, maybe it can, but it, it needed to be in a bigger, it has to go bigger than we this. We got all the pepper plants in the five gallon buckets, didn't we, Kinley? Yep. What kind are they? This one is bell. Bell pepper. This one is sweet pepper. Yeah, sweet pepper. And jalapeno. Jalapeno I pepper. I think the, this one and this one should switch because um the colors. Um yeah, like um because that's hot, so hot, and then a bell could go in here, and then. Sweet could go in pink because, like, it's more candy sweet. Candy is yeah. like pink. That was a good idea. We should have thought of that before. Yeah. Oh well. Bye. Thanks for watching.